everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I relate those to our everyday lives. My podcast is actually about life and I'm kind of sneaky with it (laughs) because the view is my Trojan horse. We got something very serious to talk about today. So come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Well, hey, y'all. Thanks so much for coming back to the podcast. Welcome back. Shout out to all the new subscribers, the new followers. Thank you so much for finding me and the community here. My View on the View. We've been together now for several years talking about our favorite show, The View. This is a podcast for people who love The View and who watch it every day or listen to the podcast every day or at least watch multiple times a week. Now, let me preface my statements with this. I really love Whoopi. I look up to her especially as a, as a black woman, I think Whoopi's one of those people in Hollywood or in the public spaces, we should say, that um, any woman can look up to, but particularly younger black women, because she really broke a lot of, I mean, she didn't do it on her own. She was standing on the shoulders of everybody that came before her, but she has really done a great thing in that she's always tried to be herself. And that's the hardest thing to do in life is to be you because not everybody's going to accept you or not everybody's going to accept me, Right. Um, but because I love her, um, that doesn't mean if I hear her say something that I think is out of line, that I'm, I'm not going to come talk about it. And so see, that's a balance there. Some people hear you say something or they hear you critique somebody and they say, oh, well, you just hate such and such. You see people like that. You just have to just let them do their, their thing because they're emotionally immature. And so I, I'm, I'm going to really go in today. Okay. So let's start here. Just a few days back when Jet was on the show. We know the mess that that how how that happened. And we learned because I played it for you guys and we talked about that later. We learned that they acted on air as if they had never heard Jedediah say those things. And they were just so shocked that, oh, this is so much mis- this mis- misinformation. We learned from the girl later that they had actually had a pre-interview with her at her house, at her house. And somebody from The View came over there. They tested her and the women in her talked. So they knew exactly what she was going to say. So if truly they thought it was misinformation, they should have never had her on there in the beginning. But we now know it was for show and for ratings. At least that's my view on The View. And and she said she felt like she was ambushed because they did know these things. And I think all of us, no matter where we stand on vaccine or vaccine mandates, we can understand that. That if I've told you something in private and you knew it, and you didn't seem to have a problem with it. Then we get in front of people and all of a sudden, I, I, you know, let's say we talk about it again and I mention it. And then all of a sudden you have this faux outrage. We can all understand how people would feel betrayed by that. We, we can understand that y'all we're all human. So one of the things that Sonny Hostin said during that entire communication breakdown was we should not allow mis- miscommunication on our air. We shouldn't. I'm not going to waste time playing that clip. We've all heard her say it. We've played it several times and you've heard it several times. But yet, just the other day, here is one of the pam- the moderator of all freaking. Okay, let me go. I'm woosawing for those of you who don't know. Sometimes I get really heated and I have to. I have to remind myself it's not that serious, girl. Calm down, girl. You don't even know these folks, girl. <laughs> so the freaking moderator gave serious misinformation, and nobody said a word at that table. Now, who was there that day? Whoopi, of course, Sarah, who's going to always stay out of anything. Um, And she's not going to dare, dare, you know, because Sarah wants to keep her job. We're going to talk about that later. Some information that's come out in the Internet streets about Sarah and why she's really still over there. Although I love Sarah, we just got to talk about it. So Sunny, Sarah was there, Sunny Joy. And Mia Love was there that day. Mia was chemistry testing. It was her second go round. And I will tell you, as I said earlier in the conversation, I had such a strong reaction to it. And I was like, that is wrong. And I thought when they returned, because this was during segment one, I thought when they returned from the commercial break that, because I think, now I know they fired the nurse that they had on the set. We're going to talk about that later. For those who don't know about that, we're going to talk about all this stuff. But you guys know I have a job and so I have to do things when I have time. But but I have a list of things we're going to talk about. So, but I know they have somebody in the medical field still there on staff. So I assume y'all that when they came back from the freaking commercial break, that they, Whoopi's going to say, oh, I have a correction. Y'all know how they do that a lot, which I love when they do that, because that shows us they're trying to, to do this thing in integrity, with integrity, rather. Well, that didn't happen. They just went on. I thought, uh-uh. No. 
It's that kind of stuff that's causing people to die. So you say, girl, you've gone on and on and on. What did she say? Well, let's listen to it. They followed that mandate. What is the problem here? I'm going to go crazy. I will go crazy on this. I, I fully, I'm fully vaccinated. I believe that people should get vaccinated. Yeah. Um, I do believe that federal mandates are a slippery slope. Um, but if New York wants to do it, I believe in it's things a happening slope at the. To what? It's a slippery slope to force somebody to do something on a federal side. I mean, I just have to. There are a lot of people that are that are really concerned about the vaccine. And instead of forcing people to say, listen, we're going to force you to do this, we need to find out why they're afraid. Now, New York, by the way, I just want to say, New York doing this, I think as a former mayor, even as a member, former member of Congress, I think that the best solutions are found at the most local level. And if we are going to be states' rights people, I fully support New York doing what is best for New York. But I just think that there is a fear out there that we need to recognize. Here's the, here's the thing for me. People will do what you force them to do. If we didn't go with mandates, black kids would probably not be in equal schools to white kids. Yeah. If we do not at some point say, listen, we tried to let you do it on your own, but this is affecting the health of the nation. We would not, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't like the mask. It smears my face. Mm-hmm. It, I don't know where my breathe. nose is running. Yeah. It's yeah. not nice. Yeah. I, I, yeah. But I would not have to continue to wear the mask if y'all got the shot. Yeah. And I understand if you have health issues. Yeah. Guys, let me tell you something. When I heard her say, I was actually here in my bedroom watching that day. Um, and matter of fact, let me give you all the date for those of you who want to watch that whole show. Hold on. Let me look at my notes. It was um, December 7th. So it was this week. It was Tuesday. When I heard her say, quote, I would not have to wear a mask if everyone got the shot. I literally went, that is wrong. I mean, because y'all know we talk to the TV sometimes, especially when Megan was there. I mean, I shouted most often. I didn't have talks with the TV. I shouted. Guys, that is misinformation. And if you're typing right now, that's not misinformation. Shut up. You don't know. Obviously, you don't know because you've not been on the CDC's website. That is misinformation. I'm going to freaking prove it to you. Well, I was just rude there. Let me correct myself. I'm not going to edit that out. Let me correct myself. I'm sorry. I should not have told you to shut up, but I will say I'm quite upset in this moment, but that's no excuse. So I am sorry. I apologize. That was out of line. We are in this thing together, regardless of whether someone gives misinformation or not. And so you can type whatever you want, because that's a part of being a part of any community that you have a right to thumbs up, thumbs down. So I apologize. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me for that. That was out of line. OK, but let me just say this. I was just so shocked, you know, and I, I try not to be dramatic when I say I was shocked. If I wasn't shocked, then I don't want to use those types of words. But I was really shocked. And like I said, before we listened to the clip, I just I thought, oh, I know the medical person is going to correct her on that. And then when they come back, she'll, she's going to give this correction. But she didn't. It's this type of mis- misinformation that's causing people to die. Let me tell you guys something before I show you. Listen, we're going to listen to the clip of Dr. Walensky. This is the CDC director okay, saying <laughs> that being vaccinated does not mean you take off the mask. You still wear the mask because even though. If we're vaccinated, we can still contract COVID-19. We all know that. They've told us that. That is the science. It prevents or is supposed to prevent because I'm aware of some people who were in the hospital and they were fully vaccinated and they got a breakthrough case. OK, and they were in the hospital for two weeks. It was a couple. So and a lot of us, you know, know people who their case, it wasn't exactly what we've been hearing out in the public in terms of it's going to prevent severe, severe illness. OK, so I'm going to say it, I think it does in certain people it just depends because we know real life cases where it did not. OK, so um, so we know that the the what, what they're telling us, the CDC, I mean, when I say they not some egghead on Facebook, but what they're telling us is that it does is supposed to pre- prevent severe infection, but it does not keep us from getting COVID. Delta variant, Omar, I want to say Omar, Omarion, <laughs> shout out, shout out to those of you, shout out to those of you who know what that means uh, and why certain people are saying, calling it that. Um, but, you know, it, it, do, it doesn't. And so that's why they reinstituted the mask mandates for those who are fully vaccinated. 
All of us should be wearing masks, whether we're vaccinated or not, y'all, because some people are asymptomatic and they will spread this thing, you know? And so I I, I will tell y'all, I had such a strong emotional reaction. I had to sit with myself. Like I said, I had to check myself before I wrecked myself. And I said, girl, what is wrong with you? Why did you have such a strong reaction? And I, and when I looked on the inside, cause that's what you got to do when you get triggered. Y'all know we talk about this all the time. When we get triggered, we have to look on the inside. And so when I looked on the inside, I was really thinking about some situations that I'm, I'm personally familiar with where people didn't wear a mask and they got sick. Now they were eventually fine, you know, but it still could have been avoided. Do you understand what I'm saying? It could have been avoided. Just let our guards down, guys. That's just the truth of the matter. But at any rate, let me say on this. I was really, really, I mean, I was personally offended by this. I really was. And I thought I ought to reach out to the view personally in the ways that I can behind the scenes and say, y'all need to correct that. It's too late to correct it in the moment because the moment is, is gone. I don't know. Maybe they can play a clip of her saying that and say, hey, you know, we, we, we missed it that day and blah, blah, blah. I don't know how they need to correct this. But I am telling you guys, in my view on The View, this is a major, uh, uh, this was a major um, dissemination of misinformation because the CDC has told us the most basic thing we can do to protect ourselves is is to wear masks. Okay. And now that we know that we can still get it, we're vaccinated, we still need to wear the mask. And so hearing her say that, I was like, whoopee, what? Did she just not know that, y'all? Or did she know that? And I'm going to err on the side of giving her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to err on the side that she didn't intend to mislead anybody. Now, let me make that clear. I am not saying that Whoopi Goldberg intended to mis- to mislead anybody, because if you were with me last year, I played a few videos uh, for you guys, because normally I don't play videos, but uh, I did because it was important, where Whoopi herself, she went out into her own community there in New Jersey. Y'all remember that? Any of you guys remember those videos? And she went out and she actually one-on-one encouraged people to get vaccinated. And so Whoopi has been a part of uh, really getting out the right information. And she's gone way beyond her part in terms of her community, her family trying to, to do the right thing. So I don't think this was purposeful. That's so at all. I think, I, I, I don't know if she just didn't know. Which if she did know, I'm not sure why she wouldn't have known this. Because this is, I think, very basic information as a part of the science. And then I just don't understand why The View didn't correct that in real time. You understand what I'm saying, guys? I love this lady. I think she does a uh, you know, a great job in, in, in her acting career. I think she does a, a pretty decent job moderating in right now. But I, I just think this was something that should not be allowed, you know, um, just especially just after they went off on Jedediah Bila for saying she was giving misinformation. You know what? I can take it from a guest, but I don't think we should take it from, we should have to take it from, from co-hosts. They ought to know better. As, as I said before, and I'm going to reiterate this because I know somebody from the show is listening today that if, okay, let me calm down. If that is not a part, the CDC visiting that CDC website or somebody from the show in the research department, giving them printouts daily, giving them, sending them emails with attachments nightly, which is what Sunny has said that they do. They get a lot of these attachments and whatnot. She didn't say they do this with the CDC, but I'm talking about these other stories. That needs to be a regular thing because even when Jed was on there, when Jed was saying that masks don't, pre- excuse me, being vaccinated doesn't prevent people from, from uh, uh, trans, excuse me, getting and transmitting COVID, Joy was like, that's not true. That is true. That was from the CDC. How come Joy didn't know that? So I, I feel that, it's un- incumbent upon you guys over there, Brian, to make sure these women know the right information because they do have such pull. They have such influence. And so many young people tune into The View now and they watch that show. And if these women don't know the basic stuff like mask need to be worn, vaccinated or not, because that's what the CDC has said. I, I don't even know. They shouldn't even be talking about it if they don't even have the basic information. And personally, I was offended by that because a lot of people have gotten sick because they took their mask off because they thought, well, I'm vaccinated. So whatever. So anyway, guys, I've been on my soapbox about this enough. Again, I apologize for being rude to you guys. I'm really sorry about that. Um, 
So let's go into this clip. Now, what we're going to listen to is this. Dr. Rochelle Walensky was on the Wolf Blitzer show a few few time, uh, weeks back. And he was specifically, now at this time, we didn't have the Omarion variant. We only had Delta. But you guys do know they're saying the same thing about Omar, Omarion, which that's not the right pronunciation. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Shout out to everybody who knows why it's a thing, uh, calling it Omarion. Um, you know, they're saying the same thing about this. But during that interview, one of the things I have to say, he did a great job really asking her some specific questions that people in the world would have. And so let's listen to Wolf Blitzer and Dr. Walensky. Okay, this is not some egghead on Facebook, guys. This is the director of the friggin' CDC when she talks about the importance of wearing masks, even if you're fully vaccinated. Okay, so we're going to end on that. Thank you guys for listening. I will catch you guys on the next podcast. All the fully vaccinated people who get the breakthrough infection, can they pass it on? Could they pass it on to their children? Could they pass the virus on to older people, especially more vulnerable people with the underlying health conditions? And that's exactly the point that we made in our guidance. So, yes, they can with the Delta variant. And that was the reason that we changed our guidance last Tuesday. Um, Our vaccines are working exceptionally well. They continue to work well for Delta with regard to severe illness and death. They prevent it. But what they can't do anymore is prevent transmission. So if you're going home to somebody who has not been vaccinated, to somebody who can't get vaccinated, somebody who might be immunosuppressed or a little bit uh, frail, somebody who has um, COVID, comorbidities that put them at high risk, I would suggest you wear a mask in public indoor settings. Especially if you, if there is a breakthrough case, uh, you get COVID, you're fully vaccinated, but you are totally asymptomatic, you could still pass on the virus to someone else. Is that right? That's exactly right. And that's where our masking recommendation came from. It's so important, these masks.